A man in Scranton has reached a milestone few of us ever will. His 100th birthday. But a milestone he hasn't yet reached? Retirement. Newswatch 16 Stacy Lang introduces us to one of the state's oldest members of the workforce. Four days a week, Morris Goldstein of Scranton parks a few blocks away and walks to Frank's newsstand on North Washington Avenue. He says it's those walks, rain or shine, that have helped him reach his 100th birthday. I just work? said, I keep working. That Keep active. That's the most important thing in life. Morris has had a job to do for about 80 of his 100 years, selling candy and peanuts in Scranton and serving in World War II under General Patton. Now he spends most of his time here at Frank's News. He's greeted customers here since he was only 79. To be honest with you, I didn't realize he would be with me this long, but uh, I am thrilled that he is, and uh, he's probably the best boss that I ever had. Do you ever think you'd be here for 20 years? No, I didn't. I didn't know how long my boss would keep me. <laughs> The folks at Frank's News say Morris could be one of the oldest workers in Pennsylvania. He retired briefly to care for his wife of 60 years, but couldn't stay retired for long. Even his birthday celebration was cut short because he said he had work to do. I think he's doing everything the way he did when he was younger. So it's almost like an engine in a car, I think keeps moving so it's not getting old. Morris says he woke up on his 100th birthday not feeling a day older. He says he feels like he did at 60 and he isn't a day closer to retirement either. He has no plans to stop moving anytime soon. Thank you so much. Thank you very well. Appreciate it. Happy birthday. Okay, I'll see you in 20 years from now. I bet. <laughs> Stacy Lang, Newswatch 16, Scranton. <laughs> I love it. He doesn't look 100 either. See you in 20 years. That is awesome. <laughs> what a great will. story. That's good stuff. Another guy who's going to be working till he's 100, Tom Clark <laughs> in the backyard. At least.